Oh my god, as if these radios haven't amazed us enough recently. Someone's only gone and released a mod which allows it to transmit SSTV. Right, well I'm so excited by this, before we even try and explain how it's done, let's have a quick demo of uh, what it can do. So first of all then, big shout out to KD8CEC uh, for releasing this version of the firmware, the CEC firmware, which allows us to uh, actually transmit SSTV direct from the radio itself. It encodes the image and sends it. I've done SSTV before from handheld radios using a mobile phone or a PC, uh, normally through the uh, um, speaker mic jack on the side, but never have I found a, a radio this cheap uh, which has allowed us to actually transmit or encode and transmit the SSTV image. So that is absolutely amazing. Uh, really clever technology there. So what we're going to do then is uh, I've already obviously loaded the firmware onto this little handheld. So we're going to stick it on the UVK5 uh, version 8 and uh, we'll run through how that's done and then uh, just go through the settings and hopefully we can uh, then transmit the other way. That little video clip you just saw was obviously this radio encoding the um, the image, sending it uh, on 144500, which is the uh, SSTV 2 meter frequency here in the UK anyway, or centre of activity, uh, to the UV K58. Um, this one was just receiving it out of the speaker and then the mobile phone was using Robot36 app um, in Martin 1 mode, which you can see there, uh, to decode the image. So that's uh, Robot36 is all you need on the mobile phone to decode it. And uh, obviously another radio to uh, to listen and uh, uh, and uh, have a speaker with the output there. So what we'll do, like I say, we'll, uh, we'll get on with uh, flashing the firmware quickly to the, uh, the UVK5, or sorry, UV, yeah, UVK58 getting confused with the two so first of all then we're going to go on to uh, kd8 cec's uh, web page and i'll put a link in the description down below for this and i apologize now for not doing a uh, screen recording uh, i want to make this quite a quick video this evening so uh, uh, just because i'm so excited about how uh, <laughs> how this has worked out so there's some uh, really good instructions in there um, so rather than listen to me waffle on about it you can uh, Go on to his web page and, and read for yourself the full instructions. But I'm just going to do a quick video on uh, how to get this started, really. Uh, scroll down and we'll get to the GitHub link, which is just here. Again, I can probably link that in the description down below directly. So uh, I've clicked on the link, downloaded um, that to my downloads file, then gone over to the uh, UV mod, which I always use for flashing the firmware. Uh, select... Uh, the CEC underscore 0.1 M packed bin file. We'll open that up and then we're going to put the uh, UVK5 into flash mode again. So we're going to 
And same as always, switch it off, holding the PTT. Uh, the light will come on. We're going to connect up the uh, USB cable. And then we'll flash that directly to the radio. There you go. So you can see that's successfully flashed to the UVK5. Okay, so now with the new version of the uh, firmware flashed, when I press menu, uh, you'll see menu 1 of 58 is the step. Uh, the next thing we get on menu 2 is now the information. Uh, that's asking for my call sign, so I need to enter my call sign in there. So I'm going to press the menu button again. Um, and I think we then press the F key. Now we press menu again. That's right, so it brings up the bar so we can start entering stuff. Press the function key. Press the function key again, it then gives us the characters and we can scroll up and down with the uh, with the up and down arrows there. To scroll across, we press menu again, which moves the cursor across. Press function, function again, and then we can uh, scroll down, I think it is, to get to the numbers. Yeah, there we go. So I'll just enter my call sign in. Okay, so the call sign's in, I'll press menu to move the cursor along, and then the call sign's in. I'm going to press the menu button again, so we've got the first part of info on menu 2 is my call sign. If we scroll up, uh, I can then put my name in, so we'll add my name in. Luckily I've only got a short name. we've missed one you have to go all the way along again all right here we go right so if you miss one you have to go back to uh, to get it to work hopefully that's still in focus right here we go again can be a little bit fiddly right so that's the name in call signs in I'm going to press menu again to get it into menu 2 and I'm going to scroll up. My name's in, call sign's in my grid. I can put the grid, my grid square in if I want to, so we'll add that in quickly now. So, there we go, call sign's in, name's in, grid square's in. You can put your GPS latitude, GPS longitude. Uh, DX call, so I believe that's the call sign of the person you want to call. You can put the name of that person you want to call in. Uh, I'm not sure what these do, I'd have to read the instructions. And I say this is going to be a quite a quick video um, and just to demonstrate it working really. But like I say, if you uh, click the link in the description, hopefully, there's uh, full instructions on how to use all of this uh, on there. Uh, again, I don't know what all these ones do SSTV1, 2, uh, reserve. CW message zero. So I think if I go in there, we can type in here something like CQ SSTV. So we'll pop that in. If we mess it up, like I say, you can go back into it again. There we go. There we go, so that's the message in. Let's press menu and we'll come out of that. And then uh, we'll have a go at seeing if we can get it to send. Okay, so now that we've entered all that information in on menu two, I'm going to press the menu button again. Scroll down to menu three, which will say TSSTV, and then you can uh, 
either go for the CQ, uh, QSO, uh, LCD, and not, again, I've not re read instructions too far just yet, so I'm not sure what all these do, but I've only played with CQ so far. So I'm going to hit uh, the menu button on CQ, and it should start transmitting direct to this other radio. There we go. So there you go then, uh, there's a quick uh, demonstration on how the SSTB works on the Quansheng UVK5 and the UV5R+. Hope you've enjoyed it, see you on the next one, 7.3.